This is your monthly market update for March 2021. What's going on friends, Matt Carter here. I'm not gonna waste anybody's time today. It's gonna to be a nice, quick, short video, jumping right into those numbers. But if you're, this is your first time here, then remember to like, comment, subscribe, make sure you get notified for all my videos that are coming out in the near future. The month of March was a busy one with almost 1,100 new listings hitting the market, but also tons of sales activity with just under 900 uh, listings sold. That's a crazy high ratio and we're firmly ingrained in a seller's market in London, Ontario. Both those numbers saw huge increases from 2020 because last time this year we were in our first lockdown and there was a lot of uncertainty around the real estate market, not only in London, but all across the country. If you compare these numbers in the last 10 years, you'll see that there's record high numbers for both recent sales activity and new listings hit the hitting the market. But then if you take a look at the active listings that are on the market right now, we're at an all time low for the past 10 years. Going along, that, along with that, we're seeing that the median days on market is at seven days, which is just about on average over the past year, we're seeing everything lasting about a week or less in this market that we're in. The average sale price of a home in London was on the rise again, up 41, almost 42% since last year at this time. We're almost at $635,000 for the average priced home in London, Ontario. Breaking that down even further into single family and condo homes, you're gonna see that single family residences are just over 709,000 on average, while condos are just over 479,000. Single family homes are by far the most popular home that's on the market and most prevalent. So that's why that average price overall is a little bit on the higher end if you were to average out those two numbers. So that's all the big numbers out of the way. But what's another key statistic we can look at that's really gonna determine what's going on in this market? One of the ones we look at as realtors is called months of inventory. Months of inventory means how many homes and listings are on the market. And if no other listings came to the market, how long would all those listings last at the same rate they're currently being sold until they were all done and all gone off the market? Currently, we're sitting at 0.4 months of inventory, which is incredibly low. Something else to take a note of in this market is our key statistic of the average sale price to listing price. From here, we can see that homes are going on average 16% more than they are originally listed for. Now, while this is just a basic rule of thumb, it's an interesting reference point to note when you are going to take a look at homes to get a rough idea of where homes are going to end up when the, in the final close price. Some key takeaways to all these stats that I've just released. If you're a buyer, make sure that you have everything in line before you start your home search. You may spend a lot of time going through homes, putting in offers, but you need to be prepared at any time in order to offer on a property that you like in order to have your best chance to secure that home. Sellers, while it may seem like that your house is just gonna magically sell for well over asking price and you're gonna get a ton of money for your house, the best practices still need to be in place to make sure that you get the most money for your house. Don't skimp on any marketing, listing preparation, or anything that your realtor says that may not be necessary given the market. Make sure that you're putting in the most effort possible in order to get the most money for your house. Quality preparation and getting your house ready for sale will net you thousands in the end. Well, that's it for today. Make sure you let me know what you think down in the comments and make sure you like, subscribe and get notified so that in the future you don't miss any of my videos.